Hi everyone in cloud computing and welcome to episode 28 of the Cloud Computing Australia show with Brad Nelson and the world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader, David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, a cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show, David and I are talking about Alibaba Group's innovative facial recognition, artificial intelligence and data analytics technology is coming to Australia's financial services sector under a partnership with local technology groups. Group, TAS and make sure you stay until the end of the show to see David's top three tips regarding leveraging Alibaba cloud over every other cloud for your organization. Hi Dave, it's great to see you this week. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's uh, good talking to you. Um, it's amazing I made it to you here from the uh, US Open, which I didn't go to. You don't believe Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that was all over Twitter. Someone had tagged you in there, and that just went viral. Because uh, yeah, I think it was uh, yeah, just <laughs> all those things. Where is where is David Linthicum? And he's all over Twitter, but not actually at the U.S. Open. Yeah, he's not going to athletic events at, on the weekends. That's for sure. He's too busy to do that. Yeah, you're far too busy writing all the blogs and everything you do, all the amazing stuff you do at the weekend. It's unbelievable. But look, I mean, I've got a great question this week for the show. Um, do you think Alibaba will become sort of more popular than AWS in Australia, Dave? It could be. I mean, ultimately, Alibaba, their market is primarily China, of course, and AWS, you know, is going to have some barriers to sell inside of China because of the restrictions that are set up by the government. But, uh, you know, Australia is close to China and uh, they are not going to have allegiance to AWS or any kind of US based uh, firms um, or AWS uh, public cloud providers or public cloud providers in general. And so there's no reason that they couldn't leverage Alibaba as long as their price is uh, less, they're not having outages, there's no privacy issues, there's no security issues that these guys start sticking up. And then there's no reason that the uh, Australia-based companies would look at Alibaba. And so we've seen this, you know, come up out of nowhere in the last couple of years. They just surpassed uh, Google, uh, if you believe the analyst reports, in terms of revenue and sales. Uh, and so they're number three in the world, and there's no reason why they couldn't get a significant market share within Australia. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's a big deal that they've actually teamed up with the, the TAS uh, company in order to set out the artificial intelligence and data analytics and that facial recognition, especially for the fintech market in Australia. So how do you think that's going to impact Australia? Well, it's all about the platform features now. So if you look at AWS, they've kind of uh, moved out of focusing on just infrastructure such as storage and compute, which has been everything within infrastructure as a service providers, including AWS and now Alibaba and certainly Google and, and Microsoft. And now we're focused on the platform features and AI is a huge, huge race right now. And who's going to develop the best and most unique and creative technology in the space? Basically, Alibaba is keeping up with AWS. They haven't surpassed them yet in terms of everything I see here in this article AWS has had for a while. And they're going to continue to put out additional services and they're putting out services at an amazing speed. You know, about two, you know, two to twenty a week, depending on what week it is, and I, I, it's hard to keep up with what they're doing. So, majority of them, I think, in 2019, are going to be artificially intelligent-based services, either deep learning and machine learning-based systems, and certainly uh, facial recognition, pattern recognition, fraud detection, all these sorts of things are going to be uh, to be had as a service, and certainly going to be verticalized, such as in the fintech area. And it's going to be, um, you know, Alibaba trying to keep up with AWS's innovation and Microsoft trying to keep ahead of Alibaba and, and, you know, just kind of a race to see who can build these things quicker, where there's not as much focus on storage, compute, networking services, things like that. That stuff seems to work. We see they seem to be updating that stuff. Uh, but this is where the race is right now. Yeah, it certainly is. And, and China's really made some headway over in Australia and New Zealand for forming this uh, alliance with the fintech world. So it's a, it's a really, yeah, it's, it's almost a bit of a game changer in Australia with regards to why, why haven't they partnered with AWS or like you say, Google or Azure with these technologies. So it'd be, it'd be very interesting to see how that pans out, won't it? Yeah, it will be. I'll keep an eye on the market. And I certainly have a good pulse on the Australian market because we have a lot of clients there and a lot of uh, um, you know, interesting things going on in this space. We've talked already about how innovative that market is, you know, based on the size of the country. And I think it's going to continue going forward. And they're, they, unlike the United States and other countries, uh, they have no allegiance to AWS. Um, it's, you know, everything's foreign to them. 
And so they may as well consume the best price technology uh, that they're able to basically cut the best deal with. And if that can be Alibaba, it's going to be Alibaba. That's kind of the way businesses work. They have to work that way. They have to operate in their own interests. 100%, they really do. As long as I think they're going for a robust solution, then they're onto a winner to a certain degree, aren't they? So I think we're on to your top three tips now, Dave. So what are your top three tips regarding leveraging Alibaba over every other cloud for your organization? Yeah, I think number one, focus on what the cloud does, not who the cloud is. I think we have a tendency to be a little bit more brand aware than we should be in the public cloud space. Keep in mind that these are utilities. In other words, we don't see software just showing up and we basically see these services coming out of the cloud and it doesn't make much difference if we're consuming storage or compute or AI services from one cloud or the other. And so you, and in a multi-cloud situation, you kind of mix and match whatever brands are going to be best of breed, whatever applications you're doing. And so there's really no need to discriminate based on the fact that it's a uh, a brand that everybody perceives as the leader. I think we make that mistake lots in this business. You'll end up using things that are too costly and not necessarily best of breed. And come to think of that, keep costs in mind. Um, ultimately, this is about your ability to bring value to the business. And if Alibaba can provide more value to the business and provide you with better pricing and better support services for the price, then, then go with them. Uh, if it's a AWS, go with them. If it's Microsoft, go with them. And it's really kind of a uh, uh, an objective, subjective thing where we're looking at what the stuff costs, the business case for what we're doing. And never be afraid to switch public clouds. Um, so in other words, in the AI, in Australia, <clears throat> the companies there, they may want, they may go with AWS and at some time in the future, they may consider AWS too costly Alibaba being a viable alternative and just go ahead and switch. I know there's switching costs and certain things are very difficult to move from one cloud to the other. But the reality is if you're staying with a cloud that's going to be too costly and doesn't necessarily meet the objectives of the business, you're going to die the death of a thousand cuts. It's so true. And no one likes to bleed over business, do they? Let's be honest. It, 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 a lot of business wants to take a, a pound of flesh out of you anyway for all the work you put in. But yeah, I think making those, uh, those decisions are absolutely crucial. You're absolutely right. Yeah, go off and do good. Dave, thanks for being part of the Australia show this week. I think we've, it's great having the, the three tips at the end of the shows. And uh, I think we've, we've covered quite a lot already in such a short space of time. So thanks for being part of the Australia show this week. It's always a pleasure, Brad. Thank you for having me. And thanks for watching, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed watching this week's show. Remember, you can get David on Twitter, which is at David Linthicum. I'm also on Twitter, which is Nelson underscore Hilliard. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, comment and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks again for watching.